everyone Arlen here welcome back to my country craft corner how in the world is everyone doing today it's so good to see you again and thank you so so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to and let me say happy Monday <laughs> shoo it's been a busy weekend for us uh, we went to Stacy's again yesterday and got to see my dad and my uncle and aunt and Stacy's hubby and one of her sons and Candace and Dustin were there and it was a wonderful day had a little cookout I didn't eat a lot I had one I had one hot dog a little itty bitty bit a bit of uh, macaroni salad and some celery and carrots with a little bit of light ranch dip just a little bit and then I had a cup of fruit salad because I made more fruit salad and that's about it that's about it you guys uh, for the, the food intake <laughs> but we had a big day it was good I hope everybody had a wonderful Father's Day <clears throat> that you were able to see your your dads or what whoever else in your family or fathers I hope you were able to at least talk to them and wish them a happy Father's Day and I hope everyone had a wonderful day well I am out and about this morning I thought I would bring you a car chit chat here you because know. I'll be honest with you because I am pooped you guys I cannot seem to catch up after I finished my patriotic decor here I just can't seem to uh, get my rest I've just been doing one thing after another after another traveling the roads which is wonderful and it's family and everything it's absolutely wonderful and it is my happy place and it is the place that I'd most rather be more than anywhere if I'm honest <laughs> but I'm pretty tired so I'm not sure how much crafting or whatnot so I'm gonna be bringing hopefully I'll get some rest you know the beginning of the week here so uh, my plan is to do that wreath sometime this week, but if I don't get it done, there's always next week we have time because I'm gonna be making that for front, for my front door and that will go along with, you know, my cozy corner, my outdoor cozy corner, which as you know is in goldish, like a goldish and red. That's my color scheme. And I really don't have much other plan other than just those colors and possibly using my outdoor <clears throat> or possibly using my uh, front porch plaque that I got from Kirkland's there a while back so I might use that in there which means I might need to add a little bit of tealy blue which would work you know just the teal color but I don't know I don't know that I'm gonna add that we'll see we'll see <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm doing here but I also have been thinking about that big fat red lantern that I know some of you, one of you mentioned it to me, and I think one of you might have already gotten it, that Kirkland's has on sale. So I think I might stop in at Kirkland's and see if they have one in stock in there. And uh, if it's already on sale, and then if I can use my Spin to Win app on my phone, I'm thinking maybe I can get that for a decent price. And, you know, I might could use that as a switch out for my kitchen table because it's big or for, you know, to sit beside my heart. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to end that to pick up. I saw it the other day and you know how when you see things and you're standing there and you're looking at it. And sometimes I think to myself, when I linger more than five minutes sitting there, should I or shouldn't I or should I or shouldn't I watch out little squirrel. Oh, it was a groundhog. Almost hit it. He broke. Thank goodness he crawled back into the woods. Oh, my Lord, almost hit him. Bless his little heart. I'm glad he wasn't hit. He cried. He looked like he was moving. That's good. Turn around. Good. Anyway, sorry. Uh, but anyway, when I stand there and look at something for like over five minutes, it's like, just, just go ahead and bite the bullet and buy it, Arlen. I was looking at a throw. A solid gold color throw. It didn't have any it didn't have any plaids or stripes or any appliques on it or anything like that it was just a solid color throw so I thought oh do I want a solid color I don't know it's the gold It's the exact gold I want is it really do I want da, 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 da. Uh, back and forth back and forth back and forth 
was going nuts. So I've decided over the weekend, and I never had time to go back and get it because we were so busy. From the moment I turned off, from my honest to goodness, you guys, from the moment I turned off from my live on Friday till this moment, save for about six hours of sleep each night, I have been moving and shaking. Moving and shaking all day Saturday. Krista was over on Saturday. We were doing stuff all day Saturday. And then yesterday we're traveling again. And here I am moving and shaking this morning. But I'm just, I'm like, I gotta stop. <laughs> just a little bit. Anyway, so I'm going back to end that and picking up that throw. And then I'm going to zip on over to Kirkland's and see about that lantern. And that'll be it. And if I get them, I'm going to go ahead and show them to you here in the car. And then I'll go home and just load it right up. Because I'm just going for those things unless I... I mean, I'm going to go to the travel department in, uh, in that too. And see if uh, they have any like travel. I'm looking for travel soaps. Uh, like a little pump. So I don't have to take my big... You know, I love to take my Bath and Body Works soap on my upcoming trip here. I usually take that, but I don't want to take that big of a bottle. I'm going to take a small bottle this time. We're not going to be gone for that long. So anyway, so I want to go over there and look at those, but I'm um, about at little over 19 pounds lost, even with eating that hot dog <laughs> yesterday. So I'm almost at 20. You think I could get to 20 pounds lost? Urgh! It's driving me crazy. I'll get there. Like I said, this losing this weight is slow and steady, slow and steady, slow and steady. I'm just, I'm not looking to lose it fast. I don't want to lose it fast. Although I'd like to be smaller fast, but I, you know, that's the slower I lose it, the easier it will be to keep it off for the rest of my life. And I'm of an age, going to be 57 this fall, you guys, you know, that I, I need to get this weight off once and for all and keep it off or at least get down to a better size. And like I said to you, if I don't mind being a plus size girl. I don't mind it at all, honestly. Other than, I mean, I'm not embarrassed to be plus size. Obviously, I put, I'm all over YouTube for crying out loud. I'm not embarrassed. And you know, people call me fat, as you all know all the time on those lives, they, you know, whatever, you know, and, and, but that doesn't bother me. I know I am comfortable in my skin. Let me just put it that way. I am very comfortable in my skin, uh, other than in a bathing suit. I'm not too thrilled with that, <laughs> you know, but I, I don't care, but I wasn't feeling well. Now that's not to say I was having health problems. I don't mean that. I just mean I wasn't, I was getting tired quicker. I, I, I was, I, I didn't want to do as much. I for, was forcing myself to do things that I did by rote every day, you know? And now that I've lost almost 20, I feel better. I feel like I can do more. I feel like I have that old energy back, except for I'm, you know, tuckered out just because I haven't stopped. But you know, I, but I feel better about doing my daily activities, you know? And that to me is much more important and a reason to lose my weight, to try to, to make an effort to get some of the weight off or all of it or whatever, or as much as I can or whatever to, you know, as, anything else any other reason it certainly isn't because I am embarrassed it certainly isn't because I'm you know whateverness in that way that's certainly not it it's because I wasn't feeling very well so I'm gonna keep on keep it on <laughs> and hopefully I will get this stuff off eventually I'll still I'll be talking about this forever I'm sorry you guys I ramble on it is hot already. It is only, it's 11.08 a.m. And it's 81 degrees. Got a guy mowing the grass here next to me, the median. 81 degrees already going up into the 90s today. Well, I finally, <laughs> you know, we went on our cruise in March. And that was a 10-day cruise. Plus, we were gone like another extra day, you know, from that. It was like an 11, we were gone 11, 12 days for that one. Well, my DVR, you guys, when I got back, was full. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. It was full of just, you know, everything. I finally, finally finished that uh, last week sometime. But finally finished, like, my, you know, my, uh, my last season finale and all that stuff. 
And now I'm waiting on, you know, some of the summer shows to come back. I've got uh, Bachelorette I've got going on tonight. I, I watch that. I kind of speed through it. That's, you know, it's okay. I like it. It's kind of fun to watch, you know. And I sometimes watch Big Brother. That's coming back for the summer. I sometimes watch that. But that's really dumb sometimes, too. So, uh, but also, but also Little People Big World. I've been watching that. I really like that show. So I don't know, uh, counting on, I like that. I hope that's coming back soon or, you know, they'll be putting out new episodes. I really like that show. So, uh, but some of the, there, there's a new one out, Revelry. Been watching that, that's a pretty good show. Been watching that a couple, couple times. And Shades of Blue, oh my goodness, it came back last night. I cannot wait to watch it. I haven't watched it yet. I tried to watch it and fell asleep watching it. And I said, this is ridiculous. I'm going to bed. So I went to bed like early last night for me, like 11 o'clock. That is like really early for me. I usually don't go to bed till midnight, you know, at least. And I was so daggum sleepy. I couldn't, I couldn't stay awake. So I watched like the first five minutes and I woke up and it was over and I'm like, you know, it says, do you want to delete this video or do you want to keep it? And I was like, ah, uh, keep it. Cause I, you know, didn't watch it. So, I'll watch that tonight. But that's the one with Jennifer uh, Lopez. I love her. Whatever she does, I really like her. So, also, So You Think You Can Dance. I'm loving that. I love that show. That's one of my favorites. So, that's on. And <clears throat> I don't know whether there's a show that I watch sometimes, only because I like the star in it. He used to play on Grey's Anatomy. Uh, the Last Ship, I think it was called The Last Ship. So I do watch that if it comes back. I don't know whether it'll come back for, I think it'll be its third season or whatever. So anyway. Anyway, what else did we, Chris and I watched a movie. What did we watch? Oh, dad coming again. Oh, the um, Black Panther. You guys seen that? I love any Avengers. You know, I love the Avengers and all of that. So uh, we watched that. That was really good. Anyway. I am almost to the shopping center. Actually, I'm not. I have a ways to go, and traffic is, like, really bad on a Monday. Like, what's that about? I don't know. But anyway, I'll be back after I come out of the stores. And if I bought something, I'll show it to you. If not, I'll be back to say goodbye on my way home. So, anyway, be back. Okie dokie, everyone. I'm back. <laughs> I took a trip into and that and into Kirkland's. And I found my lantern at Kirkland's. Oh my goodness, and I had to buy it. And my spin to win didn't work for me this time. I'd spun it and I didn't win it. <laughs> it gave me 15% off of a purchase that was would have been over $50. I had to spend $50 in order to get 15% off. And I wasn't willing to do that. I, I didn't need to spend any more money. I bought some stuff at and that that I'll show you. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this haul in the car so that I can get home and immediately sit down and get this thing loaded for you, for you guys. I don't think I'll have too much editing to do, but I do wanna get it loaded for you guys today. So, here is the lantern that I've been talking about. That I was talking about earlier, I should say. It is, oh, I don't know. That does Maybe 18.5, it's 18 and a half inches tall. And I would say probably five or six inches wide on each side. It's got a front door to it, you know, and I just love it. I just love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So I don't know where I'll use it moving forward, <laughs> but I really wanted this one. So let me see if I can put this down someplace. I'm going to have to move it before I move the car. So then I went in to and that, and as I told you, I'm going to show you this little bag first. As I told you, I I was looking for that throw, which I did get, and I'll show it to you. But I also picked up a few other things. So I might as well just show you these two, huh? We like these Oral-B Glide 3D White floss sticks. We use these every day, you know. Love these. And these are peppermint, I believe. Radiant Mint. <laughs> so we like those. Got a package of those. And then I got a package of Static Guard, which came in a different scent. I'm not used to it being the sun focusing for me. It's like fresh linen. There you can see. Uh, and so 
I'm going to use this. Uh, I always use Static Guard, you know, especially in the winter time, or if you're going to a cold climate where you're going in and out of warm, you know. So I got some of that. Then I got me some. This is my dry shampoo. This stuff has been around since the 70s. Kristen got me some nicer stuff for Christmas, but I used it all, and I'm just so I just picked this up. It was like two bucks or something. <clears throat> Pardon me in their travel department. So I got me some pst, some travel pst. And then one more thing. I just picked me up some shower to shower. I love the smell of this. And I don't like to spend a lot of money on powders like this. But you know, in the summertime you like to feel fresh and what you know whatnot, ladies. So I thought, whoop, I'm gonna smell like it now because it's coming right out of there. Look at that. <laughs> so that's what I got kind of in the other side over on the other side of and that and then two more things first of all here is the throw here it is see this is the gold color that I'm going to be using out there red and gold so I thought this would be you know nice 100% cotton 50 by 60 I'm not going to take it apart obviously in here but I'm going to put this in my wagon first you know and then I'll build my decor in and around the wagon and, and in the crate that sits up behind it so I love this I think I really think I really want the gold to be the prom the gold both both colors are going to be prominent so that's why I went ahead and decided to go ahead and get the gold for something different. I have a red and plaid or a plaid that's red and kind of a khaki color. And I don't want the khaki color out there. I want it to be red and gold, not kind of your khaki, you know, color. It is so hot out, you guys. I'm sorry. I know I'm looking flushed here. I am not having a hot flash, but it is hot. It is, I left the house. It was, what was it I say earlier, 81 or 82? It is 86 already, and it's going up into the 90s, and the humidity is suffocating around here. It's just, it's just awful. Anyway, there's my, there's my throw. It does have tassels on the end, so I'll, you know, I'll let it hang out the side, or I don't know, I'll arrange it in there some way, kind of some spiffy way in that wagon and then I did not go in for this but you guys I, this was on my way to the throws and I could not resist this well there it is on the back and you know I don't I, in my living room and dining room I decorate with gray but y'all check it out especially for those of you locally who live here in Virginia check it out Virginia Old Dominion is it looking backwards? It shouldn't look backwards because this is a, a video. But anyway, look at that. Isn't that cool? It gives the state and all of the pertinent information. Here's the Chesapeake Bay and Arlington and Williamsburg and Virginia Beach. Oysters, <clears throat> wine country, the dogwood, little colonial soldier, Monticello, Richmond. Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, Birthplace of the Nation, <laughs> Shenandoah Mountains, Cannon. It's just, <clears throat> it's just wonderful, you guys. It's just, I, if I had walked by this, you talk about having nightmares. If I had walked on by this, this was $16, which $16.99, $17. For me, I'd have paid $25 for this. I would have paid probably $30 for this. You know, just to have all of that on, in one place is not that amazing. I love it. George Washington, you know, Mount Vernon is here. <clears throat> it's just awesome. They offer these. I don't know whether they offer these for every state, but oh my goodness. Spotsylvania is about, oh, right there. <laughs> above Richmond between DC and Richmond so there we go awesome huh horse country <clears throat> historic battlefields I love it anyway for any of those of you who live here in Virginia check it out if you can get to an end that or Christmas tree shops they might have your state I don't know anyway I love it just love it 
So, with that, as I sit here in the Kirkland's, is right there, Kirkland's, <clears throat> there's a guy in the car, a really old gentleman in the car in front of me. He just came back and got in his car, and he is just like, what is she talking about, and who is she talking to? I can tell he's like all confused as to what I'm doing in my car and who I'm talking to. <laughs> he probably thinks I've gone absolutely out of my mind. <laughs> anyway... Little does he know I'm talking to my buddies. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> sorry. I am just, this weather, I'm telling you, it gets you. It gets you around here if you've, they all, they told me that when I moved here 36 years ago, if you don't have allergies, you will in years. And I'm telling you, I think sometimes I've got it rolling down my throat today. I think it's, you know, affected me today. Anyway, <clears throat> pardon me, regardless of all that. I'm going to close this one out. I will try to come back uh, maybe Wednesday with that wreath. I don't know when I'll get to it. I'm not sure what Chris and I have planned. If you don't see me again, I will definitely be back on Friday at 2 for my live. I promise you that I will be back for that live. I have no idea what I'm doing between now and then. Honest to goodness, I don't. So, with that, I'll just say that I hope that there's nobody struggling with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain and that you are getting through each day as best as you can I uh, hope that there's nothing weighing on your mind or in is in your heart pulling your attention away from where it needs to be focused or where you want to be focused and <clears throat> me and my froggy throat I'm so sorry will say Hopefully you will have seen this before 2 o'clock. <laughs> like I get home first. Takes me a half hour to get home or more. <laughs> so I'm going to hush and say until next time. Y'all take good, good, good care. Bye-bye.